Final Cut Pro has a great system for creating speed ramps and time changes on your timeline. This can add some dynamic movement to your edits. I've got some action clips on my timeline. It's easy to make cuts and simply change the timing of the new clips with the timing controls that are launched with Command R. Obviously, retiming includes reversing footage as well. When you do that, a retiming bar on the footage shows a series of reverse arrows to let you know it's reversed. For more granular control, Final Cut Pro includes a handy blade speed command. Put the wiper where you want to change the speed and hit Shift B. This creates speed segments in the clip with a transition area between them. For each segment, you can choose preset speeds or choose a custom speed. Here, you can dial in a specific percentage or duration for the rate. The transition area between segments allows you to control the speed ramp between the two areas. Make it long for a gradual change between the two or short for abrupt changes. This is a nice addition since simply changing speed with cuts can be a bit jarring. In the speed ramp section, there is also a handle that controls the retiming of the leading section so you can make on-the-fly adjustments to your edits. You can find all of the retime controls under the Modify Retime menu. Final Cut Pro has different ways to handle the processing of slow motion in the video quality section. This footage was shot at 60 frames per second, so if I need to go below 40% slow motion for this 24 frame per second timeline, I might want to choose a different option. Experiment with what works best for your footage. Normal simply changes the speed of your footage with no further processing. Frame blending creates the new frames needed by blending two frames into a third in between them. The most sophisticated way to create extra frames is with optical flow, which will require some rendering. Final Cut Pro will analyze the footage and do its best to generate the frames needed for the slow motion. Again, experiment with what works for your footage, as even the more powerful optical flow can introduce artifacts into the footage. Final Cut Pro makes it easy to add speed changes to your edits and the UI and tools they've developed are more intuitive than old-fashioned keyframing in your speed ramps for a dynamic edit. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.